I've been with Beach Blanket Babylon for a year now. So I was originally hired for the New Year's Eve show. Then after that, that rolled into a full-time gig. It's been great. Because it's going to be entertaining. You're going to have the highlights of Beach Blanket, which everybody has big personalities. Everything's larger than life. Everything's like a cartoon character. Um, not only are our costumes big, but the personalities tend to be the exaggerated versions of whatever we're doing. Um, and then the Gaiman's Chorus, they have it down so well. They, they sound fantastic. They, they really know what they're doing. So just to have them behind us doing our shtick and then them doing their shtick and us backing them up at the same time, it's just going to be a wild ride. It's going to be a lot of fun. The thrill of putting the two San Francisco institutions together. We have our following, they have their following, and it's, it's two worlds that don't act, don't, they don't operate in the same way, so it's going to be interesting to see how we're able to interweave the uh, two companies together. Um, of, of course, you know, it's always fun to, to, to be the center of attention and then have 300 men behind us backing us up, so. That'll be a thrill in <laughs> Magic Mike. A big one that came was Rent. I was a big musical theater guy, obviously. I think has to be, it's 440, I go to 440 the most. Simple, easy crowd, you can, that's a place that you can go and you can totally be yourself. I love Madonna, I think Beyonce is amazing, but I went to a Tina Turner concert a couple years ago, and that woman is in her 60s, and she put on a show that was as good as the show she did 30 years ago. She was phenomenal, so I'll go with Tina Turner on that one. You'll really enjoy it, it's going to be a fun night, it's worth coming up to see.